Hey guys, it's Bill from London, Tennessee. So this is just a quick video. I always say that. Why do I always say that? I always say it's going to be a quick video. It ends up not being a quick video. But this is probably going to be a quick video. My last quick video ended up with a rant about batteries. I promise to not do that. Um, last time we talked about the Cub, we were talking about my steering linkage. How I had... Let's back up a bit, shall we? Literally backing up a bit. I had uh, I had this dude. This little guy was in there. And the reason I wanted him in there is because uh, this is obviously solid to the frame and square ish, parallel, sort of. And the link on the other side has heim joints on both ends, so. It doesn't really matter uh, how square and or parallel that link is because those heim joints will take up uh, any deviations or slack or whatever. But the actuator back here is almost certainly not perfectly flat, parallel, or square. It's, it is in some way not that with respect to this cross link. And I knew that, so that's what the idea of this was, that this would take up any of that misalignment and uh, would not transfer it into actual loads against the actuator. Instead, well, I'm sure it did. I'm sure that worked. You know, it did work. But it also introduced a lot of uh, free play, a lot of extra motion that I don't like. So what I did was I got a, a roller bearing, kind of like a ball bearing, but it has rollers inside of it. And the idea is that it's um, much more capable of withstanding, well, that sort of a load. Uh, normally, ball bearing is good for axial. No, linear. Lateral. Loads up and down uh, perpendic you know, perpendicular to the, the shaft going through it. Uh, thrust, uh, thrust bearings, on the other hand, are good for uh, loads that are in alignment with the shaft that's going through it. So in this case, it would be straight up and down, like a thrust washer and a clutch, if you're familiar with that, as a thrust bearing. And then roller bearings kind of do both a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll just, we'll just stick with that. So I got a roller bearing because I, I wanted to get all that play out of here. And it did. It did. It did marvelously. Marvelously good job. Exactly like... I wanted it, which is great, but I do have some binding in this actuator. So what I'm going to end up doing is this little piece right here that I now have skillfully welded solid in there, <laughs> annoyingly. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better. you think I would know better, but I don't know better because I don't learn from my accidents. Uh, so I'm going to have to grind all this weld out, which really isn't going to be that big of a deal. I'll just grind this top part. Anyway, I need to put up um, one of these down here. So uh, one of these will screw into a block that I uh, will weld to this shaft right here. Yep, that's what I'll do. And that should take care of um, any sort of misalignment and won't, <laughs> I say won't, shouldn't introduce any um, lost motion in the linkage. So but that's what we got now. So as you see, with it, oh god, watch out! Um, I'm moving the. I don't have. I mean, I, there's some. There's some motion in here, and there's always going to be some. Uh, you know, but this is this isn't this isn't the kind of lost motion that's going to send me doing s's down the lawn when I'm trying to cut it. Um, so, but let's see. Let's show you how this works. I took the tractor off of its little wheelie things um, because I wanted to see how this actuator performed when it actually has a load on it at the moment at, well, previously when it was on those cat on those uh, rolly plates there wasn't really any load against it because it could just roll on the concrete but when it's got tires on the ground there's some physical contact and scrubbing and I went ahead and I put the battery back in the front I'll talk about that in a minute <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so here, check this out. Uh, hold on. Here we go. 
huh about that what what's kind of interesting is about it is that it's really fast i mean this dude is zooming here we go left or right uh full left full right i mean that you know you'd have a hard time turning your steering wheel that fast really so that's pretty cool uh i hope that's that's pretty cool what may not be no I think what's going to happen is whenever I send a signal to the Arduino, the Arduino takes that signal and converts it into a pulse width modulated signal to the controller, which tells the motor to move. And in doing so, if it sends a hmm, if it sends a pulse width modulated signal, it it should that should vary the speed of the motor uh, depending on how fast I command the Arduino to turn. So, theoretically, I think uh, it it won't always be that fast, and it should be nice and smooth. And if I, you know, yank the steering wheel hard to the right, then it'll go that fast hard to the right. But if I just kind of move it slow, hopefully, it'll also move slow. Um, but we will have to see. Uh, what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't move slow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But anyway... The other thing I did is I had the battery out last time. I don't know if it was in the video, but it did. So what happens is there's these little screws on the bottom, and there's these uh, all threads that goes all the way through this battery pack, all the way down through the eighth inch steel floor of the part there. goes all the way through that and then bolts from the bottom. So uh, it's pulling it down tight into the chassis, which is fabulous because it's sucker solid. That's really cool. So then all I did was I made this little lift lifting mechanism. And what you do is you take those four nuts off the bottom of the battery and you just put them right here and then you lift this thing out. And it, it works. It does work. It works. It works really well. It's not something I would like to do very often because it's kind of a pain to get it back in there. But uh, it's it definitely is a, a, is a good idea. It was a good idea and it did work. So that's cool. And... Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably just leave that battery in there until it's time to take this whole thing apart and paint it. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of neat. And uh, all right, well, short video update, seven minutes long. Um, sure, I will have more to show as the weekend goes on. So until next time, thanks for watching.